What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kilo Loco. Now, um, y'all are trying to figure out how the hell do I put optionals in my protocols? I can't do optionals, Kilo. I can't do optionals. Well, we're going to go over it today. All right, guys. So the reason why you can't do optionals in protocols or maybe you've been struggling or trying to figure out how to put them in there is because one, they only work with classes. And two, you have to expose the Objective-C runtime in order to access them. Kind of weird stuff, makes your code look all ugly. For some reason, you didn't want to use extensions, but yeah, you want protocols, you want optionals, we're gonna get into it right now. And uh, if you want the full project, then it's gonna be in the description below. Just follow that link, it's gonna take you over to the website. You can download it there. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do when, whenever we're working with optional protocols is obviously we need to import foundation and that's just because um, it, it gives us the uh, ability to interact with Objective-C. So we're just gonna import that good old foundation like so. Now for the example that we're gonna be using today, let's just say that we actually want to um, make something savable right so maybe you want to save a user maybe you want to save like um, some other object that's part of the user or maybe it just needs to be saved to the disk or whatever we're just gonna pretend that we're gonna be working with savable so we're gonna make a user and we want a user to be savable but um, and the savable method ha or the savable protocol will have optional um, you know methods properties on it so let's go ahead and implement some of that stuff right now so we can start taking a look at the code. Yeah. All right, so up to this point, you should be relatively comfortable with what I'm covering here. If you're not, then go back and watch uh, some of the other videos that I did on protocols. Um, and that, and that will make all this make sense to you. All right, so as we can see, we have a protocol called savable and, um, you know, maybe, maybe the object has some notes on it. Maybe, uh, it has a method called save to device and erase from device. Now, um, our user our user is obviously conforming to savable, so we have all those um, met we have both of those methods and the property um, set on it. It has all the functionality implemented as a protocol, you know, normally would. But let's say maybe we don't want the user to be able to be deleted from the the device, and what we actually want is to have erase from device to be optional. So what we could do is we can make it optional. Let's go ahead and do that. And you know what? Let's make the property optional too, because hell, why not? All right, so we go ahead and try to make it optional and Xcode is like, no, you can't do that. So what we actually have to do is we have to say at OBJC and make it look all nasty and we have to put at OBJC in front of each of the um, members that we want to be optional. So at OBJC and at OBJC, like so. And then that is essentially all you have to do in order to get optional working. So now, as you can see, if we go ahead and delete the erase from device right there, we can make both of these optional. So what happens when we try to actually delete a user from a device because it is savable, right? So it's savable and something that's savable should have the ability to erase from a device. Well, let's take a look at what happens. All right, so we try to implement it and Xcode's telling us, hey, you know, even though it's savable and I'm giving you that autocomplete and saying that it, it can have erase from a device, the erase from device method is not there. You have not implemented. The same thing's gonna go if we wanted to check the notes. As you can see, um, it's going to give you a red flag. And you'll actually even notice this when you're typing it in, that um, if you try to go to notes, it's gonna say an optional string, and notes is um, obviously, um, you know, a non-optional string. So uh, that's one of the indicators that you can kind of see that, oh, it's optional, and um, I know for a fact that notes is a regular string, it's not an optional, um, that means that I probably haven't implemented it yet. So um, as we can see, it's, it's giving you all kinds of clues. Hey, 
This is not working. You can't do that. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Right? So as you can see, we can obviously do the kilo dot save to device as we normally would because that one's actually implemented. So it's very important to note that if you are working with the Objective-C runtime, some of these Swift related things are no longer accessible to you. So you can't be passing like structs and things like that through your through your protocols. It's gonna it's gonna you're gonna have a bad time, right? <laughs> um, and you actually are limited on what you can do on extensions because um, now if we wanted to try to extend the save to device, it's no longer gonna allow us to do that. Let me show you that. All right, so as you can see, I took the save to device method out of the, the user um, class and I put it into an extension so that that usability would be you know, default for anything that's savable. But as you can see, it's saying non Objective-C method save to device does not satisfy requirements of um, requirements of Objective-C protocol savable. So if we try to fix it, it's just going to put an at uh, OBJC, but that's not going to fix anything. It's just going to keep, it's going to be like uh, fix, 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 and it's not going to fix it. So just keep in mind, when you do work with optionals, you're switching over to the Objective-C runtime. It's limiting your Swift functionality, and that's just something that, that, that I, hey, you got to pick your poison. If you want to work with Objective-C runtime, then you ain't going to have all the sexy, super sexy, awesome features of Swift. That's just that's just how it is. You're trying to write in Objective-C, you, you need to stop writing in Swift then, man. Just write in Objective-C then, man. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, remove all this nonsense and put it back to a working state for y'all. Let me just comment that out and put that savable back in its place. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's lesson. Once again, optionals are available um, in protocols if you want them, but just remember, you have to expose that Objective-C runtime. That means that you don't get an, you don't get extensions the way that they normally work, and you pretty much have to only put them on classes because uh, structs and enums aren't part of, of Objective-C. So it limits your Swift functionality, baby, and I like to call limitations not coding passionately i would say that's not coding passionately so yeah if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comments let me know if you want the full finished project link is in the description um, if you like the video thumbs up for me um, if you are interested in um, talking to me having any conversations or have a question about a bug hit me up on twitter that's the best place to reach me at um, interested in my day-to-day -day life you can find me on instagram as well so that's all for today um, i hope that you guys enjoyed the lesson i hope you learned something new and above all else i hope you keep coding passionately all right later guys